What's up, it's Jamani, and as of today, I'll be doing daily vlogs. In one of my controversial videos, I had spoke on potentially getting evicted. I wasn't sure what the eviction process was, but I did eventually get evicted. I'm currently in my old room. This is where I'll be sleeping for the next two to three weeks. I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna be living. I don't have any secure place to stay. I have to take responsibility. I made a lot of decisions or mistakes within my life that could have prevented me being in the situation that I'm in right now. But you know, it, it is what it is. So I decided to do daily vlogs because I need to be more determined with creating content because this is how I plan on making money and making a living for myself. So as of today, I'll be going to the bank. I have $0 in my bank account, but I'll be overdrafting my bank account $200 and using $50 to go to Walgreens and get some groceries, probably milk, cereal, and some drinks. And then I'll be taking $150 and go into the casino with it. So I currently have nothing in my refrigerator. Uh, I really haven't been surviving on much. So I'm gonna have to go to Walgreens, you know, get a little bit of food, just simple stuff for me to eat. And then after that, I'll be going to the casino and hopefully make some money. I'm at the bank and now I'm about to overdraft my bank account. I don't recommend this at all. Last week, my account was overdrafted a little more than $400. And um, I got myself in a lot of trouble with doing this. I'm about to overdraft two hundred dollars. Say yes. Okay. I'm headed into Walgreens, and I'm probably gonna spend about fifty dollars in food. So I'm definitely gonna get some milk. Probably should get some orange juice too. Got milk, so I definitely need some cereal. So I'm gonna get chocolate frosted flakes and then some honeycombs, some Arizona. Oreo ice cream's on sale, so why not? Get two of these. Honestly, I think that's it. So the price came up to 4304. Now I gotta walk back to the apartment, put some of the stuff in the refrigerator, and then head to the casino. So I just got to the casino. It took me an hour to get here. And yes, I did walk here. And of course, I stepped in some mud on my way here. Just like that, I'm leaving. All right, so that was definitely the easiest hundred dollars I ever made in my life. I made one bet and I got a hundred and four dollars. So yeah, I'm ready to go. Uh, deposit this money into the bank and then I gotta wash my shoes. And then call it a day. I'm back at the bank and I'm about to deposit $260. My bank account is currently overdrafted $200. And, you know, I'm just glad I was able to come up with a win. Even though that I won $100 at the casino, I just want people to know don't, don't take anything I do or say as financial advice. I might have won $100 today, but I don't win most of the time. In the last seven years, I lost 50000 gambling at the casino. I appreciate the fact that I, I was able to come up with a win, especially on video on my first bet. But this is something that, you know, I would, I would highly discourage anybody to get into gambling because it's something that really did a lot of damage within my life. Just don't take anything I do or say as financial advice. Since I have $60 in my account right now, I do want to get some cryptocurrency. Polygon is down. I have $22 limit. So I'm going to get $22 in Polygon. So that comes up to 17 Matic. And there you go, successful purchase. And the last thing I need to do is wash my shoes because I definitely stepped in some mud. Uh, sheesh. 
I ain't mean to do all of that, but yeah, gotta get all of that in there.